Hey, what's up my friends? Todd Falcone here. Welcome to ToddFalcone.com. Today we're going to talk about how we wrap up a meeting, uh, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one presentation or I'm standing here giving a presentation to a small group of people in a house or I'm giving a bigger presentation in a room or a virtual room like a webinar or something like that. Uh, one thing that I find that is missing a lot of times is and this is not unusual, so it's, it's important to talk about, is a strong, clear, concise call to action at the tail end of a presentation. So if I'm giving a one-on-one -on -one presentation about my product, my business, my company, uh, I want to wrap that up by, by having some kind of call to action. So what, what is a call to action? It's a request for the person that's listening or viewing to take the next step. Like for example, if I was doing a one-on-one -on -one presentation and I got to the tail end of the presentation, I may say, hey John, let me ask you, do, do you have any other questions other than how do I get started? And uh, you know, so, something like that. I mean, I'm not gonna go into exact calls to action other than the fact that you need to have something at the tail end of that presentation. Are you ready to get started? How soon would you like to start making money? Uh, are there any other questions that you might have? Rather than, hey, there's the presentation, thanks very much, see you later. And I've seen that happen many times where even in traditional sales, a person will go all the way to the end and give the presentation, but not you know, literally take a, a pen out, if this is traditional selling, flip the contract around and go, hey, let's get, let's get you started. Uh, and you know, it's funny because people get to the, to, the, to the end and they're afraid to ask for somebody's commitment, but, but that's the whole reason why we do a presentation. So uh, if you're giving a webinar, uh, if, if you're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, or if you're doing a group, group presentation, you need to be thinking about at the tail end, how are we finishing this presentation? You do not want to finish a presentation and not have some crystal clear, concise, singular, in fact, call to action. So I'll give you, for, for example, when, when we were running group presentations, kind of a, a standard call to action at the tail end of a group presentation would be, hey guys, that's a good overview of who we are and what we do. Uh, we want to thank you for coming out. When, when people come to these presentations, we typically find that individuals fall into one of three categories. Category one is, hey, I see what you guys are doing, but thanks, but no thanks, this is not for me. And if that's you, we really appreciate you coming out and taking a look at what we're doing. Number two is a person that says, hey, you know what, what you're doing seems to make a lot of sense to me, but honestly, I'd love to either try your products or I've got a couple questions to, to ask before I proceed. And number three is a person who says, oh my gosh, I see what you're doing, this totally makes sense to me. I wanna do this, I wanna get started in the business. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little break Turn to the person or get, get to the person that brought you here and just let them know if you're a one, two, or three. If you're a one, thanks so much for coming out. If you're a two or three, we're gonna take a little break and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you exactly how to get started in the business and address some of your questions. And then that would be a wrap, for example. So you know that's a, that's a very clear example of what we would do at the tail end of a presentation. If you're doing, and I know many of you are, doing email marketing or doing online marketing and you're doing any kind of messaging, you have to make sure that you're uh, at the tail end of that, that you are also providing some type of call to action. A mistake that I see people making, especially in any kind of uh, online or email marketing or where, where there's some kind of communication to someone in written form, is they get to the end of it and, and sometimes there's either A, no call to action, or B, they, there's a call to action, but there's multiple, it's like go here, click here, go here, go do this, or click here, go here, and it's like the prospect is confused. We don't want people to be confused. So what I want you to do after watching this video is think to yourself, Look back at all the presentations that you've gone to, that you've uh, either attended business presentations or that you're giving one-on-one, -on -one, and are you doing a clear, simple, concise call to action at the tail end of these presentations? So whether it's on social media, whether it's on a webinar, live one-on-one, -on -one, sit down, over the telephone, text, doesn't matter what it is, at, after a presentation's been done, there needs to be a call to action because there's no purpose in doing a presentation really if there's no strong, clear, concise call to action. So a call to action is critical. It's a missing ingredient in a lot of people's presentations and it's a failure point because if it's not part of it, it, it just defeats the entire purpose of giving a presentation, a sales presentation in network marketing or direct selling. So whatever you're doing, stop. Make sure you look at what you're doing and make sure that you have some type of 
clear, singular call to action at the tail end of whatever business, whatever business presentation that you're doing. And I guarantee you, you will produce more sales, more distributors, and more revenue by just simply making sure you have a call to action at the tail end of your presentation. So that's it for today, folks. We'll see you on another video. Thanks for watching.